Yeah, well, you have good days and bad days, and I think we came in positive, but also a little tired, and uh, takes a lot out of you, you know, to come back the way we did and play the way that we did. Um, but I like the effort of the boys, and again, the, ch the challenge is always there. And being under man just shows some spirit and some fight, and I thought we did that over the weekend. Um, so you take something good away, but Sydney, playing Sydney Kings, uh, they, ain't, they ain't an easy team to come in here, come in here and defend in champions and how they're playing. Yeah, they are who they are. They did play well today, and I mean, it sort of summed up. You had some good contributions, but I mean, Mitch didn't make a field goal. It's one of those days. Like, how do you get going when one of your best players is held like that? Well, you, you keep fighting away, and it's not always about the offensive part of the ball that, you know, when you, when you watch Mitch or anyone of our players, it's, you know, doing all the parts and, and making the team tick. He's a floor general. He's got to, you know, keep everyone involved. Like, two two attempts, that's not a lot to go and, you know, sneeze at. So, to, to make that a point, it's, um, yeah, I think everyone, again, finding a way, uh, finding energy in a time like this and... Yeah, we need to probably do something different because we've got the same sort of uh, scenario coming up with Perth at home on Friday and again we're back on the road again in Melbourne. So we need to make sure that uh, we find a way to combat and prepare better. Six and six now, mm. entering tough stretches. Uh, where do you think the season's at and what you need to do to, to get that push towards the playoffs? Uh, we need to keep understanding how we play together and how we come together. I think uh, any time you keep growing and getting a little more comfortable, I think there's there's only a couple of teams that are that are comfortable, and they're probably New Zealand and Sydney. Everyone else is, you know, riding the wave, so to speak, and and understanding that you know we're all in the pack. Uh, the league is tough. Everyone can beat everyone. We've seen that all season. Um, we just need to continue to, to build and focus on ourselves. The outside will be what it is, but on the inside, this is who we are and how we continue to get better so that we can prime ourselves for a shot. I know you touched on it on Friday, but you mentioned a couple of times under man and feeling tired. That search for another player, how's that looking? Looking? Yeah. yeah. Now, um, yeah, I mean, we, we talked about it a few different times. Uh, uh, we'll have a short list soon, and once we have the short list, then we'll, we'll narrow it down and we'll present it to the players and let them know, you know, what we're thinking, and then hear their thoughts too. Any timeline? Not yet. Chris or Steve? Chris or Steve? Yeah, sorry. Mitch, what did you make of things out there? Obviously. Like CJ touched on, you only took two shots for the night, which is a little low, but you're not out there and necessarily take shots. But what made it tough for you to actually get into a flow against whatever the Kings did? I thought they defended pretty well. Um, you know, they were they were prepared and, and they were ready for us in their coverages. And um, you know, they climbed into the ball a little more than they did last time we were here and disrupted us a little bit more in our offense. So credit goes to them for that. Um, and they executed on offense. They got a lot of points in the paint. They shot sixty, almost sixty-six percent from the two. So we're getting the ball out of the net. We didn't have our pace in transition, which we had the other night to get us going in the second half as well. So uh, we need to be better, at, at obviously, on defense and creating opportunities for ourselves and, and executing against pressure. A lot of talk, obviously, about this third import, but can you talk about how much you missed Drew this weekend? He's been playing some of his best basketball the last couple of weeks and really making the most of his extra responsibilities in the team. How much did you miss him both Friday and today? Yeah, yeah, we, we missed him a lot. Um, you know, he's an energy guy for us. He's been a great scorer. Um, he's been consistent. So, um, you know, anytime a guy goes out, um, it's going to hurt us. But at the same time, you know, we're looking for other people to step up. And, um, you know, Sydney were the better team tonight. But, you know, we're looking to bounce back next weekend and, and we'll have multiple people ready for that one. This was probably always going to be a weekend where you learn a lot about your group, given you're playing two of the top three teams. Now that you've played these two games, what, did you, what do you think you've taken out of, out of this weekend? Me again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, I think uh, as CJ mentioned, you know, there's kind of two teams that have separated themselves a little bit. You know, even take away from wins and losses. You know, those they've kind of put themselves in that contender category, if you will. Um, everyone else is scrapping to try and find themselves and, and find a position on the ladder. Um, so, for us, it's just about game by game. You know, you can get beat by every single team in this league, and um, it's been that way for years now. Um, so, you know, we're, we're not freaking out about one loss, but at the same time, you know, we, if, if you want to be in this finals race at the end of the day, you got to start stacking some wins together so I think everybody knows that it's just building an identity and a style of play and get comfortable and if you can get on a win streak here you, you'll put yourself in a great position. Uh, CJ it seems like every time you play Perth there's always fascination around around the matchup just with the history between 
the two clubs and you know your first two games this year have, have had all of that and, and this one's now going to be fascinating on Friday as well potential but hopefully get driven back you, you know we'll wait and see on the the other new faces and you know they're coming off a win in New Zealand you're coming off this game Friday night's another another big game yeah again uh Tough opponent. Every week is a tough opponent. It's preparing the right way, um, making sure that um, we're ready to go. I think uh, right now, um, being at home, uh, to play a few more games at home is, is good and not be on the road, but everyone's tough no matter who you see. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else?